Hi, welcome to another Word of Engineering videos. Today I'm gonna open up the Panasonic self uh, cleaning um, and charging station, which I've been having some problem with it. So basically, the way this thing works, it you put a cartridge in it, which acts as a filter. This thing, and. Uh, the water has a container here, it goes there, and then basically it has a pump, it will pump the water in, goes through the filter and goes in here, and it uh, goes through the program to clean the uh, shaver, and then it pumps it back, and then it has a heater and a fan to dry it. Now, the pump doesn't work properly, I'm going to try to open it up, see what's the issue. So, there were two screws here, and one screw here. And then uh, open those, and you just need to push this a bit, pull it out. So I'll try to open this. So as you can see, this is the fan, um, and these are the pipes for the pump. All right, I managed to pull this apart and just uh, explain how I opened it so on the, that was the top which I did show you there how to uh, it had three screws but on the, on the bottom it has that this plastic foot footing there see yep um, it had that plastic um, uh, footing here you, had, you have to pull it out and there are screws uh, on just below under these plastic foots here so there were uh, one two three plastic footing and there were screws there open those so there were three there one here uh, four and then you take it out and that was there and I thought it's got a, like a proper pump but because to take the cost down what they basically did they're using it like a very cheap DC motor and then, then with a bit of uh, gears, increase the torque, and very simple, smart idea to uh, for the pump. So basically, this thing, as the motor turns on, this thing will go up and down, and this um, plastic um, or the like gasket type thing it will go up and down very quickly and act like a pump because in here there is like a sealed chamber in uh, on the plastic um, on this plastic uh, casing so I I think I know the pr where the problem is um, after a while you, you get a um, bit of uh, rubbish and whatever in here build up and the pump cannot uh, work very efficiently so basically when um, you use a bit of gravity to suck the water um, out of the container here into uh, where the cartridge and the shaver is but when he wants to pump it back it doesn't have enough uh, um, kind of pressure to pump the water out of this uh, reservoir there so I'm gonna just clean um, this uh, gasket around it and put it back and put a bit of uh, grease around it and uh, see if it, that would help but overall there is no water uh, ingress or anything sign of water damage to the circuit board or anything it looks dry that's good it's a good sign and so let's do that So this is the gasket, so I'm just going to try to clean it, especially this where it seals, and I have some grease here, put it around. gasket 
make sure it uh, seals and also where the gears are because this I'm guessing the um, so it's, going, it's a very fast rotation here turn around, make sure it freely runs put more grease um, around the gears doesn't need much speed <laughs> then with the pump I put it back I'm just going to use my finger yep. this back that's how it was, yep so I had four screws the screws all they all look the same size. That's good. Makes their job easier. Tie them all up yeah. all together at the same time. So basically this thing will go in here and um has two screws there. One of them was slightly different. Where's this one? Alright, so put it back together and uh, what I didn't really like about um, this design was um, you know, the, uh, how you have to bend the tubes like that and here it becomes so constrained and so small the diameter of the tube and so it will be a very slow pump and um, I, I think it's uh, like a design uh, issue so that's the way it should be anyway um, and then I'm just gonna screw back um, screws back I'm just gonna make sure it fits perfectly mm -hmm. okay yeah that's good Took all the wires in Good. Gears are moving freely. That's good. And also make sure these um, wires are um, out of way. Just this thing. That's it. Let's go on the. Yep, perfect. Now, uh, yep, that's about it here. Use back in. Zoom out a bit. Using my SLR here, so focusing it's a bit of issue, it's not an auto focus. So, one side has a hole, a uh, small hole on these feet and that's facing outward and also what I um, 
what I saw was a bit of water in the fan because it has a heater and also the fan to dry the plate bit of water in it, still working try to dry it up and put a lubricant spray there and what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll clean all around here inside the container and the reservoir and also what's important it's the ceiling this um, plastic ceiling here that needs to be very nice very clean and nicely fit and tucked around the area here all right so last bit um, there is a plastic um, some sort of like a strainer thing here which you can simply um, it has um, grooves or slot in here you can just pull it out and it com will, comes out yeah I can I'll give it a I did give it a good wash and also what I also did clean uh, uh, all inside the bit of light would be good uh, this uh, reservoir here and as you can see um, there's a small hole on the bottom of it right at the end zoom in a bit and try to get it focused yep so I tried to make this uh, um, this one um, clear that as well because that's what's um, the water path so um, these two this one is quite big and this one is but this one's very small it can get clogged up easily so I think you gotta clean this regularly I had this for a few years and this is the um, the fan holder so put this back together and test it this is how the fan holder sits here clean it up a bit of dust around it um, in a good uh, shaving uh, shaving machine I had it for three four years I never had an issue with it um, and that goes uh, top of it yep that's that and yeah basically that's it yep this um a long screw goes in here and then two screws bottom of this just here put everything back together um, got the water container I'm just going to put this in and this is the shaver and it, the model number is ES8078 uh, but uh, the cleaner station comes with ma many other models and I'm just going to put this in let's take it out connect the power ok, it's got the right polarity ok yep that's good. So just gonna press clean and dry. It has to start pumping. Yep. Maybe zoom in a bit. I 
you can see water here. Um, yeah, so that's good. Now pump it's pumping it out. Oh, that was quick. Nice. Perfect. It's working. Okay. So I think the two um, issues which um, fixed it was one was the pump and the sealing of the pump and also that um, all these um, outlets those those two holes needs to be uh, thoroughly cleaned yep just gonna do this a few times and popping the water in and turning it on it goes through the program on and off to clean it yep thanks for watching if you have any comments or if you have a, s a similar model or other um, um, similar issues, so let me know how you fixed it. Thanks!